Looking for magic cards or magic carps? TCG Player has all the singles you need to upgrade your decks. Import a list with mass entry and let the card optimizer do the rest. Use my affiliate link down below when shopping and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Standard Games video. Today we're taking a look at a white, blue and black or Esper colored reanimator deck built around Urborg Scavengers, voted on by my supporters on Patreon. This 3 mana 2-2 says when it enters the battlefield or attacks, exile target card from a graveyard, including the opponent's graveyard, put a plus one plus one counter on the scavengers, and then scavengers has flying as long as a card exiled with it has flying, and the same is true for first strike, double strike, death touch, haste, hexproof, indestructible, lifelink, menace, reach, trample, and vigilance. So scavengers shines in a deck that has a lot of creatures with different keywords that it can exile, so it can keep increasing its abilities turn after turn and our deck is filled to the brim with keywords, starting with Hexproof, of course, which is the best way of protecting our scavengers from removal, so we can move all in on it without having the opponent answer scavengers with a single card. So we've got a ton of different ways to give it Hexproof, starting with Kaya, which is a Planeswalker, so you can actually exile some Planeswalkers with keywords as well, Kaya being one of them, so that way we can still protect our scavengers if we exile Kaya, but it's also a powerful 7-mana play that we can maybe bring back from the graveyard, using our invasion of Tolvara, or we can hard cast it late in the game and still potentially exile opposing creatures or drain the opponent to death or potentially draw more cards if that's necessary. And then other ways of giving Hexproof include two copies of the Copper Host Crusher, a card that we're unable to hard cast in this deck since we don't have any green mana, but we're happy to discard it or mill it over and then exile it with the Scavengers, giving both Trample and Hexproof. And then we also have two copies of the Caretaker, which is a more powerful card individually than the Crusher, but we're never gonna try and hard cast it, so we're mostly maybe reanimating the caretaker to put plus one counters on our creatures and then also granting hexproof, but of course we don't have the upside of a trample like we do with a crusher. And then another set of keywords comes from the Fleetfoot Dancer, which has Trample, Lifelink, and Haste. So yet another card that we're not going to hard cast in this deck, but that we're happy to put in the graveyard. And then a turn 3 Scavengers exiling a Fleetfoot Dancer when it enters the battlefield will result in a 3-3 with Trample, a Lifelink, and Haste, which can of course attack right away. And as soon as a Scavengers attacks, it can exile another card. So we can now maybe give it Hexproof by exiling one of those aforementioned cards. And then we'll have a 4-4 Hexproof Trample, Lifelink, Haste, or we can maybe give it Double Strike by exiling a Combat Thresher, which is a totally fine card to cast on turn 3 as a 1-1 one -one Double Strike that draws a card, can also maybe reanimate it, although we've got a few more powerful cards to bring back instead, such as Atraxa, Grand Unifier, which has a ton of different keywords for the Scavengers, including Flying, Vigilance, Death Touch, and Lifelink, another one of those cards that we're not planning to hard cast in this deck, but that we can bring back with both Invasion of Tolvara, as well as a turn 4 Shielded restoration, which will cost us a bit of life, but since we have so many ways of giving scavengers lifelink, we can easily offset that life loss. And then we can also later kick the restoration to gain life instead of losing a life with it. And then when Atraxa enters the battlefield, we can find all sorts of cards, and we've got a nice set of card types in this deck as well, with instant sorceries, we've got Thrasher being an artifact, plenty of creatures of course, Kaya a planeswalker, and then Invasion of Tolvara, one of the new battles that enters the battlefield with five defense counters, and says return target non-battle permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield. So this is a way to bring back a Kaya, so that's why we're playing it over something like Cruelty of Gigs, both because it can bring back Kaya, but also because we can find it with Atraxa alongside an enchantment, and we've got two copies of the Modern Age as our only enchantment in the deck, an excellent way of drawing and discarding early on to fill the graveyard with those different keywords to set up a turn 3 scavengers, and then we also have four copies of Faithful Mending to do the same, get to gain 2 life, draw 2 and then discard 2, and can flash it back for 3 mana, so we can use it multiple times. And then Otherworldly Gaze is also very useful early on as we get to surveil 3 and flash it back for 1 and a blue, so that can also fill our graveyard nicely. And then we also have two copies of the Boonbringer Valkyrie as another creature with a ton of different keywords, also reasonable to hard cast for 5 mana, with backup 1 potentially putting an extra counter on the scavengers and then giving it flying, first strike and lifelink as well. And then our mana base is just Esper Colors, that way we can realistically curve out and cast our spells. And that includes our tower, of course, as a nice tri-land, and then a good mix of the various dual lands, including pain lands, 
We've got the Innistrand duels and then some fast lands as well. And then the channel lands giving us a tiny bit more interaction and a couple basics in case we need to search those up. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play. And what do we think of our opener? We've got Gaze to fill the graveyard. We've got our two reanimation effects and both Kai and Atraxa. So really just missing a draw discard effect for this hand to function. I'll try it. And then if we can mill a few more keywords, scavengers would also be a nice draw. But um, yeah, mostly just looking for a way to discard both Kaya and Atraxa. And did not find anything of the sort, but I'll still keep a Sanctum since we could use an extra land. And then now at the very least I can reanimate a Caretaker, which the opponent may struggle to answer. They're looking like a Domain deck. Okay, now I could potentially keep a land and then reanimate Atraxa on turn 5 with Invasion, or even turn 4 here with Restoration. So we've got a couple options, but uh, yeah, this seems fine. Atraxa more likely to be answered by removal, but uh, maybe we don't really care if we can fill our hands. And then Kaya is our Planeswalker, another Restoration, likely our Sorcery. Can grab Scavengers as Creature, Thresher's Artifact, and another untapped land here. And then an instant. So six cards, not bad. Can discard Kaya, probably a Thresher, and an Atraxa. That looks okay. Could also hang on to Thresher to just cast for three mana. Also, Vacation answers Atraxa, that's fine. The damage has been done. And uh, could reanimate Kaya here with Invasion. Don't hate that idea. Could play Scavengers and give it Hexproof. Could still die to a Sweeper is the only concern. So maybe getting Kaya going first is worth it. And then we can start draining or we can draw a little bit more first. Kaya having Hexproof means that the opponent won't be able to take it out with a Leyline Binding. So that's nice. And we have to discard to hand size. Mending can go. Stomper for ramp. Just have to watch out for something like Sunfall exiling my creatures. So don't want to overextend into it. But I'm okay playing Scavengers and giving it Hexproof. By exiling Caretaker. And then we could still hard cast a Comet Thresher for 3 mana. Maybe draw with Kaya first. Let me get a read on the situation. Although we may be okay just uh, plussing Kaya to drain for 3. Since we're not lacking card draw. Discard Gaze to hand size. Keep something in hand to maybe discard in case our opponent's running farewell, which could exile our entire graveyard. Opponent finds another invasion, so now the Stompers online. Can jump it with Thresher pretty easily. Okay. Kaya could also minus on the Stomper for what it's worth, which I don't hate. Could also get our Atraxa back here by removing the Ossification, so an embarrassment of riches. And then if we attack our Invasion, I could give Double Strike to uh, take it out at once. And then find to play a tapped land now. Can maybe play a Thresher and then still flashback Mending. 
in case we need to set up a second scavengers. Okay, let's see if our opponent's got a sunfall. Archangel of Wrath, that's fine. Can take out our scavengers. So it just answers a few of our tokens. Our Broken Sky also having nice energy with Kaya. Alright, one Atraxa can certainly go. And at this point, what else? Maybe a land. And then Kaya could mine us and get rid of the ossification to get our Atraxa back. Play another Kaya. Minus on Archangel. And Smash. And we'll uh, exile on Atraxa here for that uh, lifelink action. And get another Modern Age going. Okay. Hang on to Valkyrie since we can hard cast it. Maybe discard another Atraxa. And then discard to hand size. One restoration can go. Alright, opponents had the Sunfall after all. Maybe they just top decked it. Maybe they were being patient. That's okay. We can rebuild. So now the concern is our opponent having an instant speed Leyline Binding to potentially get rid of the Scavengers before it gains Hexproof, but we've got a second one to set up. Okay, that worked. And then could still go for another Invasion. Kaya can keep plussing. Can go for another Shieldress Restoration just to uh, present another Atraxa to block the Incubator token. And then Soaring City could be nice. And uh, Fleetfoot Dancer could be good to discard to hand size. And then Instant and Sorcery. Okay, so I can channel this now if I'd like, so we don't have to discard it to hand size. And discard a dancer. Okay, so I can set up a hasty scavengers, which can also immediately gain double strike if we'd like, since there's another thresher. Opponent ramps with invasion. Do we see a second Sunfall? Opponent's at 9. Yep, but our opponent's now tapped out. So we may be able to get them with hasty Scavengers. Especially when paired with Valkyrie. So go for haste. Put a counter on it. Attack. And give a double strike as well as an extra counter, so that's 10 damage. And then we could still drain for 3 with Kaya. So yeah, opponent had 2 copies of Sunfall, which is the best possible answer to our Hexproof Scavengers. But we still managed to beat them on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand is missing a way of discarding our expensive creatures. So bit on the sketchy side, but on the draw I'll give it a shot. We've got about eight cards I'm happy to draw early between the two mana draw discard effects and our one mana gaze. And there we go, there's our mending. Opponent with turn two Rona out of blue black. So hopefully they tap out and we can set up a hexproof scavengers. 
Anointer, okay. So far, so good. Run up pretty nice with the Anointer. Gets to put a counter on it. And discarded Shieldred. So it's a blue-black draw to synergy deck, you could say. Hopefully they're not packing any Edict effects to make us sacrifice a creature. That gets around our Hexproof. Could also exile Shieldred at some point to gain Death Touch. In case our opponent is trying to reanimate it. But they likely just have another Shieldred in hand. And yep. Arona gets to loot and grow anointer. And then Arona plus Shieldred is a powerful combo too. Getting to gain a ton of life every turn. Take or draw. Restoration can reanimate something. Although for now only Valkyrie has something to get back. So let's just attack and exile Valkyrie. Get a few useful keywords. And then I'm not sure if I want to flashback Mending or play another Scavengers. Maybe Mending's still worth it, even though I lose life to Shieldred. Just so I can try and find more keywords for Scavengers. Or maybe set up a powerful invasion of Tolvada if we maybe discard something like Akaya. Opponent discards Jace. So finding Double Strike would be excellent. And their opponent plays another Anointer. So the Anointers keep growing. Take eight. And then another six here between the two draws from Mending and the draw step. Did not find anything useful. Did find Kaya, but a draw step too late. So I guess I could play Scavengers, exiling the opponent's Shieldred, so we have a Death Touch creature back on defense, as opposed to giving the current Scavengers Death Touch. Arona transforms into a 5 5, opponent attacks all out. So, yeah, I can block Shieldred here to trade and then take 11, so we're not dead yet. And then Invasion can bring back Scavengers at the very least. And then maybe the current Scavengers can transform our Invasion. Still gonna leave us in a precarious position, but it's probably the best we can do. And then... Is there a point in exiling Shieldred? I guess there still is, since we could trade for the opponent's Rona. Although First Strike plus Death Touch could be way past the Anointers with the current Scavengers. So maybe we'll leave it for the first one. And then with a the land we could cast Kaya, which can solve a lot of problems. The token's happy to chum block. Opponent has lost their ability to easily draw two cards per turn since transforming Arona. So maybe the Anointers won't keep growing anymore. Okay, another Shieldred. This is the five mana Shieldred. And that's going to force me to sacrifice a non-token creature. So... Yeah, I guess we'll sack the smaller scavengers now. Happy we gave this one death touch. 
And then take seven, gain two. At least we should be able to keep the graveyards in check so Shieldred doesn't transform. And then slam down Kaya, exiling Shieldred. Bone's gonna have to sacrifice something. And the token also gets pumped by our Broken Sky. Nothing for the opponent to get back. And we get to attack and gain some more life. Exiling the Anointer. Okay. We are starting to stabilize. Ooh, but a Breach, the Multiverse, that can easily take over the game here. Opponent milled over both Atraxa and Kaya. Opponent chooses Atraxa and Shieldred. And Shieldred's going to make us sacrifice scavengers. Or, I guess, Kaya. That works too. So not all hope is lost, but uh, yeah, that was backbreaking. Can't think of a much better sequence there. Find another Shieldred as well. I guess now I can Restoration, try and bring back an Atraxa. Take nine. I guess I can also transform Shieldred, although we have to be careful because tokens, of course, don't have a backside. Or do they? I guess they might have changed the rules. Yeah, I think they did change the rules recently where tokens actually have their backside. So you can potentially transform them. But it doesn't apply to cards like Shieldred that exile themselves first. And then found a Kaya. Restoration as our sorcery. Enchantments. Another Atraxa, perhaps. Although I could also go for a Fleetfoot Dancer to give a Scavenger's Haste if we bring it back. Instance and land. And attack with Scavengers for sure. And I guess Shieldred has Menace, so that can attack. And then did we mill over a Double Striker earlier? I guess we did. So now Double Strike on our Scavengers should just be lethal, since we already have Trample, and Trample plus Death Touch means that blocking with Atraxa is not going to make a difference. And our opponent explodes. Wow, what a crazy game. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand seems quite nice. Got to turn to Faithful Mending, discarding both Atraxa and Fleetfoot Dancer, and then we could have a Hasty Scavengers, gaining Atraxa's abilities as well. Now the main concern would be removal, since we don't have Hexproof yet. So maybe we can get Hexproof before exiling Atraxa. That would be even better. Put on blue-white. So yeah, stick to the plan. Could also hard cast a Comet Thresher and then kind of wait it out. See what the opponent's working with before committing Scavengers. Find another one. So now we don't feel as bad if it gets dealt with. Opponent passes once again. So don't love our position. If our opponent's uh, control deck packing some sweeper effects, then scavengers may not get there, even with hexproof. Don't know if I want to commit scavengers with haste right now. Maybe better off just uh, flashing back uh, faithful mending for the time being. So let's attack for two. And then I should maybe do it now in case we pick up a tapped land. Okay, so Restoration bring back Atraxa could be powerful. Discard Mending and maybe a land. Opponent did nothing, turn three. And an Invasion can uh, maybe make Restoration too more expensive now. So now could be a better window for a Hasty Scavengers. Although it won't have Hexproof yet. Although, if our opponent taps out for a sweeper, then we can cast our restoration, so that may be fine. So just won't exile Atraxa here. Exile land instead. 
play a tap land. And then we've got a decent amount of pressure, and next turn, if our opponent does tap out, we can bring back Atraxa. It's going to be a Valor stance. That's effective. So, yeah, opponent could still have a counter spell available for all we know. Could double spell Thresher and another Scavengers. And then wait on Restoration until we're sure it resolves. Gaze could also be nice. So maybe just cast a flashback Gaze to set up a Hexproof Scavengers. Okay, those are good. Valkyria could also hard cast. But if I'm flashing back Gaze, it's probably better value to fill the graveyard as much as possible. Okay, keep Restoration. Atraxa can go. And then now we've got a ton of options, including cast Restoration for 4 mana. And then if it gets countered, I can still play Scavengers with Hexproof. Bone makes disappear, can pay for it. They probably have another one. Okay. And our opponent explodes, yeah, they need to answer the board, and they know that if they tap out, they're going to be facing a reanimated Atraxa. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and our hand is missing white mana. Otherwise, it could be quite powerful, discarding Dancer and then exiling it with a Scavengers right away. Sure, we'll try it. We've got quite a few white sources we can draw early. And especially against red-green aggro, a life-linking creature is going to be very nice to stabilize. A restoration, a little bit painful, but if it brings back an Atraxa, it could still be worth it. And our opponent hitting us for two here. Alright, Gaze could be useful too. So, that can maybe put something in Graveyard for Scavengers or find our white source. As our opponent plays Beast Caller, they could also give it haste. So we don't have a lot of wiggle room here. Opponent's applying a lot of pressure, and they were on the play. And, all right, Atraxa works. Do I need another Scavengers? Could just Shielders Restoration on turn four, but of course, Scavengers exiling Atraxa, which is kind of the Intuitive play would mean I don't have anything to bring back with the restoration. So close call. Could also go for a faithful mending here, gain some life, put Dancer in the graveyard, or immediately go for Atraxa. Or we can just hope the scavenger survives and can keep growing. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna Hope our opponent doesn't have removal here. Stormseeker's fine. So our opponent's gonna hit us for a bunch. But we can block Phoenix Chick. And then next turn... We can keep growing the Scavengers. So take eight. Alrighty, so yeah, let's Faithful Mending, and then I can still maybe Modern Age afterwards as well. But when I get the Dancer in the graveyard, Kaya for Hexproof could also come in handy. And then Modern Age. Discarding Gaze, that's good value. Attack, since it has Vigilance. And 
I think going for Hexproof now is reasonable since we don't really need Trample. Back up to 9. And we can hopefully block a few of the opponent's creatures now. Ooh, an Ancient Imperiosaur. That explains why our opponents unconfigured the Rabbit Battery, and now they can give Imperiosaur Haste an attack with it. And that should be game. Alright, nice combo from our opponent here. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and what do we think of our opener? It's not amazing. Turn 3, Thresher, and then don't really have anything in Graveyard yet to reanimate with Restoration, so we'll take a mulligan. This seems a bit better. Missing Scavengers or Reanimation effect, but we've got plenty of ways to find them. One Modern Age can go. And then probably go for turn to Modern Age, maybe even discarding the Mending at some point, which we can flash back for value. Although plenty of other cards we wouldn't mind putting in Graveyard. And we found Scavengers, perfect. So maybe go for Crusher first. Guarantee Hexproof, and then keep Kaya as something we could potentially hard cast as well. Opponent on a multicolor, maybe domain deck. Never mind, Cavalier on three. So this leaning aggressive. Okay, Atraxa can go. Play Scavengers, give it Hexproof. While the opponent's tapped out. And then next turn we can go for Flying, Lifelink, Vigilance, and Death Touch. Another Cavalier, so the damage is adding up. And get our 2-3 Flyer. And sure, we may as well Mending here. But I imagine Atrax is still going to be the best thing to put in Graveyard. And uh, sure, let me discard another Mending too. Since we can flash them back. So now we're gaining life, and next turn we can actually attack and block with the Scavengers as we gain Vigilance as well. So our opponent's gonna need something special to beat the Scavengers. Doesn't strike me like a deck playing Sweeper effects. A third Cavalier, okay. Hopefully their last attack. And let me main phase Mending in case we can find something like Double Strike. And one Kaya can go. And there's a glider attack as well. Maybe safer to hang back with it. And then I want to leave Atraxa and Kaya in the graveyard if possible, so just exile land for now. And then next turn we could restoration back Atraxa as well. Opponent discarding Herd Migration for a basic. So they may have some pump spells, like uh, Gaia's Might, that we need to play around. Currently giving plus four, plus four for a single green mana. Ossification deals with a Vector Glider. So then I don't necessarily want to block. Yeah, let's just take it. Another Scavengers helps, so you can attack, and then play another Scavengers exiling Atraxa, and that way I guess I still can't quite keep up Iganjo to channel. Could also just um, keep up Iganjo and then block if they use Gaia Smite and get them with the Iganjo. That may be worth it. And then flashback Mending for now in case we find some more keywords. I guess we did not find an untapped land, so now I don't have the mana to channel Iganjo. I'll just discard Mending. And then we'll play Iganjo. Play another Scavengers. And 
then the second scavengers I can maybe block with. So we'll go for hexproof first. And then two flying scavengers could cross the finish line. With an untapped land I can cast Kaya as well, which can drain for three in addition with the scavengers, that would be enough. Alright, opponents cast Rith Liberated Primeval. So probably no attacks then. Never mind. And a Fleetfoot Dancer. So Mending can discard Fleetfoot Dancer. And then Restoration could also reanimate. Let's say the Fleetfoot Dancer here to attack with. And then gotta make sure we exile the right card with the right scavengers, but uh yeah, we already have trample on the first one. And then the second one can gain Death Touch. And that should be game. Alright, sweet. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and while we're missing black mana and some keywords for scavengers, I still gotta keep with the turn 2 mending, turn 3 maybe flash it back if we haven't found the right cards yet, and now even a turn 1 gaze. So we've got a lot of ways to fill the graveyard for scavengers, and then hopefully our opponent won't be able to answer it, especially if we give it hexproof, and wow, those are three excellent cards to put in graveyard. So just missing black mana now. And with three more draw steps, or a couple more looks with Surveil, that shouldn't be too difficult. So between Mending and Gaze, I guess we'll go with Gaze, since I don't have anything I actively need to discard. Opponent on a Junt deck with the Celestus, so they could technically still have one mana up for removal. Something like Cut Down could kill Scavengers before it gains Hexproof. Did not find black mana, but can put everything in Graveyard. Could also keep the... Uh, Combat Thresher is something I can just cast here, but we could also still cast Mending, so highest upside is just finding the black mana for Scavengers. Did not get there. Let's cast Mending main phase in case I find a tapped black source. Okay, so at least one Restoration can go and then a land. And then we'll be able to set up our Scavengers next turn, or we could Restoration reanimate Atraxa as another option. If our opponent keeps up mana, I don't really feel the need to go for Scavengers, so then we might go for Atraxa instead. Opponent casts an Into the Fire to refresh their hand. So still two mana untapped. Could easily represent an instant speed removal spell. But our opponent goes for an Invasion of Ergamon, so now just one mana left for removal. And a Goblin discarded. All right, let's give the Scavengers a try. And our opponent will need a one-mana instant here to disrupt it. And then start with Dancer to give it haste. And then Hexproof is next by getting rid of Caretaker, I think, over Kaya. Even though, I guess, Restoration could bring back Caretaker, although we're always going for Atraxa in this scenario. I guess Caretaker putting more counters on Scavengers, especially when paired with Double Strike, could still have its moments. Opponent goes for an Invasion of Kaldheim. So, opponent's got an interesting deck going here. But it doesn't seem like they have any immediate answers for the Scavengers. Let's see here, don't have quite enough mana to make another hasty Scavengers. So... Probably just going to attack and then go for an Atraxa. Give double strike. So that's 10 damage. And then I can maybe discard Dancer to hand size here in a second to set up a hasty Scavengers in case of a board wipe. Found a battle, a land, instant, and artifact and creature. And yeah, our opponent has seen enough. On to the next one. 
Okay, we're on the play, and our hands got potential. We have some excellent creatures to potentially discard to enable scavengers. So Gay is looking for any way of drawing and discarding here. But we can also find other important keywords. Okay, perfect. Found Hexproof to put in Graveyard and a Modern Age to discard Atraxa. So we found it all. And could discard Atraxa right now in case they somehow deal with my enchantment. And against a green deck. Not too worried about instant speed removal on scavengers before it gains hexproof. So it's mostly going to be a race, and with lifelink and flying, that shouldn't be too difficult. Still going to go with hexproof on the off chance that our opponent's packing some removal. Don't expect scavengers to be able to block here after the opponent grows the team. And then next turn we can maybe reanimate Atraxa and exile Valkyrie with the scavengers. And a 7-7 Atraxa plus the scavengers that keeps growing is probably going to be too much for the green deck to handle. Okay, Tribute. Good to set up a late game here. But Atraxa trumps most late games. So we'll attack first. Exile Valkyrie. Hit for four. And then Restoration back Atraxa. And find a battle. Sorcery, land, artifacts, and maybe Dancer as our creature. Although at this point maybe you just get another Valkyrie instead. Alright, so we got to see our Asper Scavengers Reanimator deck in action. And while I don't expect it to be very competitive on the ranked ladder, mostly because of the card Invoke Despair lining up quite favorably against our Hexproof creatures and Planeswalkers, I do think it's a pretty fun deck to try out on the play queue, as you can do some crazy things, such as a 4-4 with Hexproof and various abilities as early as turn 3 in this deck, and then it can snowball very quickly. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.